Hello all, today we'll be discussing about random forest classifier and regression intuition. Uh, random forest is also called as bootstrap aggregation. So before moving into random forest, first of all, let us discuss what is ensemble techniques. So usually ensemble techniques, right? Ensemble, this is a very good, important terminology altogether. Ensemble basically means combining multiple models. Okay, combining multiple models combining multiple model. Now it may be any machine learning model. Okay. In that way, we are trying to combine multiple model and then we are trying to get the output of that particular model. Okay. So that in short is what is called as ensemble multiple grouping of model. It may be, it, you may have any kind of models that you are having. It may be added up sequentially or parallelly, but the computation of each and every model is important over there. Okay. Now to begin with, I want to discuss about there are very uh, there are basically two different techniques in ensemble. One is something called as bagging, and second one is something called as boosting. The best example of bagging is something called as random forest classifier, random forest classifier, or regressor. So both these techniques is a technique in bagging. In boosting, you have something like ADA boost. You have something like extreme gradient boosting, XG boost, and you also have something called as gradient boosting. Okay. So these are the various techniques. Now today our main focus is on discussing on random forest classifier and regression. After I complete bagging, I'll also be creating videos on boosting where I'll explain about XG boost, which is called as extreme gradient boosting. Uh, so let us just understand how does this bagging concept work. Okay, and this bagging is also called as bootstrap aggregation. The reason it is called as bootstrap aggregation, you'll just know in some while. So make sure you watch this video till the end. So first we'll try to understand what is bagging. And in bagging, we have something called as random forest. Random forest. Okay. Uh, this ensemble technique basically uses multiple decision tree. Okay, multiple decision trees multiple decision trees and each and every decision tree will be playing its own role. Okay. So let us just understand how this particular bagging concept work. Now suppose I'll just write it down as bagging again. Okay. Now suppose we have a data set, which is called as D. Okay. So D is my data set. Now this particular data set will be given to multiple decision trees. So this will be my decision tree one. This will be by decision tree two. Similarly, this will be my decision tree three. Similarly, up to decision tree n. So we have multiple decision trees. And what we do is that from this D, what we try to do is that from this particular data set, we will be giving some sample, some sample number of rows or some, some sample number of observation to decision tree one. Okay. This sample i will just name it as s1 now similarly some other sample will be given to decision tree 2 that basically means that this sample is given with replacement now with replacement basically means that when i'm giving some sample over here then it will get replaced in the next sample and will be given to the decision tree. similarly a different sample will be given as s3 and similarly it will be given as sn now once all the samples of decision tree is basically given this decision tree will get trained with this particular data Okay, with this particular sample data. Similarly, the next decision tree will get trained with this particular sample data. Decision tree, uh, tree will be basically getting trained with this sample of data. Now, after the training is done, okay, after the training is done and your model is actually created, whenever you give a new input data, right, this decision tree, okay, during the training phase only, you will be having different, different accuracy of this decision tree, okay, different, different accuracy of this particular decision tree. Then what we do is that we combine, we find out the mean of all this equation. Okay. Mean of all this accuracy, sorry, mean of all this accuracy. And that will be our average accuracy or the accuracy of the complete random forest. Okay. Now, whenever we give our new test data at that time, what happens? Suppose this decision tree in terms of classification has predicted zero. This has predicted one. This has predicted as zero. Again, some have predicted as one and final one has actually predicted one. What it does is that it sees the prediction that how many decision tree are giving the similar kind of prediction. 
So over here you can see that decision uh, tree two has given one as its output, decision tree four has given one as one as its output, and decision tree T and it has given one of one as, as its output. Now over here you can see that most of the decision tree is giving one as its output. Okay, because over here decision tree one and decision tree three has just given zero zero. So whichever I mean, this, all this decision tree, whichever gives the maximum number of output, that is similar kind of output, that will be taken as the output of the model. Now you should understand that this is in terms of classification. Okay, this step, when we are actually dividing our sample data set and giving to different different decision trees for the training purpose, what happens is that this step is basically called as bootstrap. Okay, bootstrap with replacement it is very important to understand these terms bootstrap with replacement then after the training is done these all are combined these all are combined as i said that how we are combining whichever model is giving us the mag similar kind of accuracy like if they are giving most of our decision tree over here is given a, uh, the output is given as one then that the, that will be the output of this particular test data whichever i'm trying to get and this merging of all and coming to a particular conclusion is basically called as aggregation and that is why we call it as bootstrap aggregation okay now the next thing is that what happens if my problem statement becomes a regression problem this is also very important to understand because in a classification problem i know that if my maximum number of models are saying as one i know that that output will be one but in regression problem i'll not be having zeros or ones I'll be having a continuous value, right? Continuous value. So suppose my decision tree one has given some continuous value, CT one. I'll write it out. Here it is given as CT two. Here it is given as CT three. Here it is given as CT n. So what will happen is that the mean of all this continuous value will be taken. Okay, mean of all this continuous value will be taken, and that will be the output with respect to a particular test data. As we have, okay. In a regression problem, the average of all the output will be taken, okay. Whereas in the case of a classification problem, whichever model, how many number of models are giving the maximum values? Basically, if decision tree one, two, three, they have three to four models that are giving as one, and two models are basically giving it as zero. At that time, I'll consider that one is the output of that particular problem. Now this is about the decision, sorry, random forest. And in turn, this is basically using decision trees. Always remember guys, decision tree will get created in the same way like what we had learned in my video. See, if you have not seen my videos about decision tree, I've already explained about entropy. I've already explained about information gain. Also, there is another parameter called as Gini coefficient. That decision tree is nothing but, it is nothing but nested if else loop, okay? Some features will get selected and then the division will happen. So there is one more technique in bagging, which is called as um, extra tree classifier that I'll be just discussing after this particular video. I'll be uploading that in my next video itself. And this was the intuition behind random forest. Very pretty much simple. You can see that each and every model are independent over here. Okay. They are doing the training and they are doing the prediction independently. Finally, with the help of aggregation, we are, we are just combining it and we are trying to get the output. And in bootstrap, what we do is that in bootstrap, what we do is that we split the sample of data and give it to different, different decision. Tree. So yeah, I have sample S1, S2, S3, S3. And that is how it is done. Uh, with respect to coding, guys, I've already created many videos on random forest. You can go and uh, go ahead and see my playlist. Uh, I hope you like this particular video. Make sure you subscribe the channel. Uh, share with all your friends, whoever require this kind of help, like and comment. And definitely, um, you know, keep on learning, never give up. Uh, I'll see you all in the next video. God bless you all. Thank you one and all.